I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video is something off the beaten path here. Every once in a while I do one of these. I watched this video and I just couldn't believe the conversation these women were having about Second Amendment rights. Not to each his or her own, but let's all sit back, give a good listen, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Would you date a guy who legally owned a firearm? Let's start with you. I mean, I would just be confused as to why he felt the need to have it. <laughs> I don't know, it just doesn't seem necessary. It's a it's a Self, tool, right? It's it's a self defense. In an urban setting, I mean Isn't that that's where you need it the most. Ideal? I know this is a hot button topic in America, and that's why I don't back down from hot button topics. I just don't understand though. She finds some guy she really loves, they get along, they've been dating for several months, then all of a sudden she finds a firearm in his closet and loses her bloody mind. What? I mean <laughs> I don't, I'm not anti-gun, like I do. Three men are starting to break into your house that you share with your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, would you want your boyfriend to have uh, the firearm to defend the home, defend you in that situation? I mean, I don't think it's necessary that he has a gun to defend. Like, I mean, turn on, all the, turn on all the lights, hit the car alarm, startle, like, you know. So let me get this straight. Uh, some drug crazed maniac is breaking into your house because he needs his next fix. And to deter this, you want your boyfriend to turn on the lights, hit the car alarm, and startle the guy. Is that what you're telling me, sweetheart? Uh, I think this woman's going to be single for a long time. What do you think, good people? You know, what? Call the police? Call, sure. You know, How long that's do you not, think? They're not there, but that's, so that's not Sometimes relevant. you don't have enough time to just... Right, but I don't, you know, that, that I don't think having a gun is necessarily perfect in every situation either. It's so much more complex than that. And I agree it's more complex than that, and people like this should never even pick up a firearm. Don't even look at one. Yeah, uh, as people like this that don't understand firearms that really make it bad for the rest of the people here in America who are law-abiding citizens. Yeah, these are the kind of people who want to take our, away our Second Amendment rights and freedoms we have here in this country. Also, you know, if if they have a gun and you have a gun, like no one's winning that. You what? Know? I mean, it's, if you're it's a just, good shot, you know, but... Uh, quick draw. I mean, you just... <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks, a 20-something who doesn't have a clue. Of course, there's a lot of 20-somethings that don't have a clue. Maybe I shouldn't pick on them, but I'll tell you what, when I was a 20-something, I had a clue. It's all in how you're raised. If mommy and daddy raise you right, then you'll turn out right. If not, well, then you see what happens. Anyway, check out this channel, whatever podcast. They have some good stuff over there. At any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things and say stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, sweetheart. Notice how the other two women didn't say a word. She did all the talking. Good luck in life, sweetheart. <laughs> Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400-level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come trying to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Wait, no reason I'm, really, to I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? 
You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.